After lengthy conversations with family, friends and comrades, I have decided not to contest the next Assembly election. Having been first elected to serve the people of the Falls and West Belfast in 1987. This was not an easy decision, but one that I have taken in the best interest of my family, my own health and the struggle. I have travelled many different roads throughout my journey as a Republican activist over the last five decades. From taking on the British military occupation of the Falls, resisting the criminalisation of Republican prisoners as a blanket man in the hate blocks and an advocate in the US, Canada and in Europe for protesting prisoners through being an elected representative in Belfast City Council and the Assembly, where I pri prioritised advancing people's quality of life and ensuring our community had access to modern homes, health, sporting and leisure care. And throughout everything, even in the dark and challenging days, you all stood by me and my family and for that we are forever grateful. When I first became involved in Republican politics, our community retreated as second-class citizens. We were denied a voice and the most basic of human and democratic rights. This apartheid, discriminatory society was maintained by the most barbaric and oppressive measures. Today, when I reflect back on those dark days and the journey that our struggle has taken, I am left in no doubt whatsoever that huge progress has been made. We are within touching, touching distance of achieving the progressive, a progressive, modern and united Ireland. And as the saying goes, Republicans don't retire. I will continue to do everything that I can to build this new Ireland and to meet the needs of our community.